Hey guys, it's Mather here once again, and after the success of the Double Strike Starter Champion, I decided it was time to move on since I farmed just about everything I could. Uh, aside from Uber Elder, it wasn't quite up to that point. The build could probably do it, but I'm not sure it's a good idea as a Double Strike given the name locking ability there. But anyway, it was time to move on, and I decided to fuck around with Ark a bit since it is roughly, I don't know, twice as good as it used to be. And that made me think that maybe it'll bring back something kind of a relic of the past, a Mjolnir. Uh, Mjolnir has been kind of nerfed a few times recently and other items get, you know, put into the game that are just straight up better looking at you, Poet's Pen. And it just wasn't very good for quite a while. And the single target was mostly why it was kind of terrible because you could build a decent Mjolnir for clear speed, but you wouldn't have a great single target anymore. Currently with Ark the way it is, I get the feeling that it can make even Mjolnir work. So we chucked it together. It's now an Inquisitor. It's about level 80 something. And the clear speed's actually pretty nuts. Ark is really busted. It's really, really good for everything, even Mjolnir. So it doesn't have to just be totems, self-cast, uh, traps, mines. Can also be a Mjolnoob. And this is me on an Inquisitor charging around using primarily shield charge with the Automaton Herald effect. That's what you're seeing with those blue explosions, the new mystery box Automaton Herald effect on Herald of Ice. So arc, you charge around every single time you hit something with a shield charge, you do get an arc proc because that's sitting in the Mjolnir. I then have a charge dash with cast while channeled arc as well for even more single target. And besides that, we get a bit of extra damage from Orb of Storms. And overall, surprisingly, the single target is not too bad, at least on this lower content. I've gotten up to, you know, maybe tier eight maps or something, done a breach stone. And for the most part, arc single target is still very respectable, uh, even in a Mjolnir setup with a cast while channel on um, arc from the charge dash thing which is kind of all right, but I'm not sure it's even that good. I'm still playing around with it. The character is still pretty early in its um, development, and I've been messing around with lots of different combos and all that. But uh, for the most part, it does seem to be that Ark and that Valark there just exploding the entire screen is very, very satisfying. As we all know right now, Ark is pretty insane, pretty busted, but I wanted to bring it to light with a slightly different flair this time around and this time being a Mjolnir character. So we're still figuring out the single target, still checking it out. Uh, one of the things we did learn while leveling is that Lightning Spire Trap in just about any spellcaster build is going to be crazy single target. So if you get a Lightning Spire Trap on a uh, arc character in a four link uh, with a few extra damage mods, it just shreds bosses. So I don't currently have a Lightning Spire Trap in the build as you should be able to see. Uh, but that's because I don't think it needs it. If when I get to much higher levels, uh, let's say tier 16 Guardians or so, and I really think I need a Lightning Spire Trap or an additional single target, that's when I'm going to bust it out. But I'm trying to get the single target going and the character going off of the entire merit of Mjolnir alone. And we did come across one pretty fun little Haku area here, the one that spawns all kinds of um, Raging Spirits. And by God, it was Kind of the most fun thing I've done in, I don't know, maybe ever. I sat here for a good five minutes just non-stop killing shit as it charged at me and uh, experiencing the new Herald effect, which in this context was just an absolute joy to watch and to hear as well. Uh, I don't have the clip of the sound here because it's going to be struck under copyright with um, the music. So I do recommend you check out the stream for some of these gooshes, splooshes, whatever you want to call it. Because it's a very satisfying sound uh, if you haven't heard or seen this Herald before. So yeah, just charge it around here for a good five minutes or so. I tried out lots of different Herald effects as well. And uh, none of them really come too close to this one at the moment for uh, pure arc chaining goodness. And uh, it was quite a lot of fun. And you can also see that Orb of Storms um, occasionally will shatter and kill things. It's got quite a lot of damage itself these days too, uh, ever since it was basically doubled in this recent patch as well. So we're trying to get some good signal target from the arc, from the Orb of Storms, and from the Castwell Channel arc as well. And currently it has performed well enough, but we'll see in the next few days just how well it can do. At this stage, it's definitely a pretty good mapping character and it's not too steep on the requirement of what you need. It's mostly just jewels with crit multi and all of that. And as such, I will go over the setup real quick for you guys just so you see what we're working with. 
So there is our hero in all his might. It is a currently now level 84 uh, Inquisitor, which got to this level extremely fast. I've been pulling three or 400 million XP an hour through the 70s up to 84, because uh, just shield charging around, dropping arcs everywhere. It really doesn't get too much faster than that once you scale your attack speed enough. And like I said, the hero of the show here is a pretty much relic of the past, a Mjolnir. Uh, this is back ben back when items that uh, were pretty strong had somewhat significant drawbacks and in this case it was getting a lot of strength a lot of int uh, and it was really rare and kind of hard to get at this point the strength and the int isn't too big a deal the int you basically get just by making the passive tree and the strength you accommodate your passive tree just a little and then get a couple of strength items like throughout the gear here uh, but overall it's pretty easy to get the strength and the int in this type of build these days and you build it pretty similarly to just a spell caster um, tree really you just get a lot of uh, crit crit nodes and uh, life nodes all over the tree a few um, lightning nodes as you can and then try and get a bit of attack speed uh, from your jewels over here attack speed um, attack speed in this one and these are all just so you can shield charge around a little bit faster and then ultimately the setup is a bit different in your actual um characters gems and all that so primarily at the moment you just socket something into your Mjolnir and here we have arc and Val arc uh, increased crit strikes and added lightning not really two optimal setups just yet uh, I don't think I need crit strikes anymore but early on I was using it because I needed it so I'm going to keep an eye on that might use control destruction hypothermia early focus as I go uh, we'll see what happens but these are just kind of the provisional at the moment on this sort of three link it's still very strong and clearing everything and then I finally set on a um, nice shaper chest that I chaos spam to try and get the spell crit got a 1.4 spell crit so um, it's pretty big for an arc which has base 5 crit you get that spell crit uh, on a chest like this and then I got a 5 link happening of charge dash hypothermia cast while channeling level 21 arc and an Ellie focus so currently that's what we're rolling with for a 5 link also going to be uh, provisionally changed but if you just sit here and cast your um, charge dash you're going to be non-stop throwing out arcs all the time and then you're going to be procking arcs with your Mjolnir as you're charge dashing and charge dash if you didn't know was changed to be more intuitive so as you can see you can move your mouse around and uh, move the actual pointer for the charge dash character uh, and it becomes a little bit funky and something to kind of get used to but the point is that it's a channel and you can then attack with it and thus um, channel your cast while channeling an arc so we have two arcs shooting out doing lots and lots of extra damage uh, besides that just try and get life some um, spell damage lightning damage crit whatever you can get got a reduced wrath mana reservation enchant here you can get a reduced any one of these uh, just so you can fit all three in or use an enlightened gem but I don't really have an enlightened nor do I have the gem links so we have barely any mana unreserved thanks to that and the only mana we spend is 10 mana on shield charge 8 mana on charge dash and uh, occasionally dropping an orb of storms or summoning a golem so you don't need much mana and uh, these enchants are all you need for that Besides that, a Call of the Brotherhood, which then cuts our damage um, from pure lightning to be lightning and cold. So that helps um, shatter quite a lot. You can see our damage spread down there. Helps us shatter quite a lot, freeze things, and uh, trigger Herald of Ice. And it's probably worth using in a build like this. And a bunch of strength, some crit multi. Uh, boots, still need a fourth socket even. But yeah, strength, life, charge around. Got a power charge on crit, Orb of Storms and Arcane Surge set up. So we are Orb of Storms all the time uh, in between things just so I can get um, my Arcane Surge and power charges going. Got our Herald of Thunder, Assassin's Mark, Herald of Ice, Curse on Hit set up for the Curse on Hit of uh, Assassin's Mark. And then I guess there's not too much else to men mention at this point. Diamond Flask, Silver Flask, Series Promise. Charge around and uh, just kill shit extremely fast. Don't really have much leech at the moment. It's only in the form of a series promise. So I'm going to see what I can do about that. If anything, if anything needs to be done at this stage, not really just charging around, uh, killing things. Arc explodes things immediately. So the survivability isn't too much of an issue. And at 5.6k life, I'm feeling pretty good at this level. But the rest of my levels uh, will probably grab more life down here. And then uh, I've got to figure out what else I'm going to do. Maybe this jewel socket. But for now, I will give you this um, sort of passive tree and pa uh, path of building pace bin. Uh, it's still very provisional. So if you want to start following it, feel free. Or build your own Mjolnir thing. 
But, you know, moral of the story, Mjolnir and uh, Ark is just stupid. Just like everything else paired with Ark right now. So feel free, you can grab a Mjolnir, you can do some Poets Pen, you can do um, even various cast on crit setups probably with Ark because it's kind of dirty at the moment. So for now guys, uh, it's still a very fairly provisional character, still figuring it out, still seeing if the end game is going to be good, but it's been pretty strong, pretty fun, and we'll see how it pans out in that end game. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.